in this tip. Just want to show you a very quick way to get the understanding of how your shoulders should be rotating back in your golf swing. So it's very simple. We've got a seesaw or we got a helicopter. Okay. I want the helicopter, not the seesaw. So if you don't kind of know what I mean or can't, uh, you know, figure out if what which you're doing, you know, just literally take your golf club like this, cross your hands over, put it up against your uh, chest here to indicate your shoulders. Okay, so now if you were standing here and you went down with this side of the golf club, this is like a seesaw. It's going down, up and down like this. Okay, this is not what I'm trying to get you to do. I want your golf club going around and around, okay, like a helicopter, the blades on a helicopter. Okay, a helicopter is not going to go this way, a helicopter is going to go this way. So this is just a real easy way to get a sense of how your shoulders need to be moving. Like if you don't get this part, you're not going to have the spring-like effect in your golf swing. And, you know, if your body doesn't work, you're going to use your arms. And we're just going to sit here forever. You're going to come over the top, hit with your arms, chicken wing, you know, the whole bit. So we got to get our body moving the right way. So, you know, a lot of times I've told people, you know, go back and feel like your shoulders are more level to the ground. You know, so I explain that and, you know, they don't get it. So this is just a real simple way to see it could even do it in a mirror or a window right here. Just take the club like this, put it against your shoulders, okay? Just imagine, what would a seesaw do? Well, a seesaw would go like this. That's what most people do when they go back. They go sideways like this, which creates this, the too much angle here. And then they have to recover, so they go the other way. So the whole thing is like a seesaw. If you went like that and then you turned, you would literally hit the thing 50 yards that way, easy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to get you to go around and around. So we're going shoulders and then we're going legs. Shoulders, legs. You can see how my back goes to the target, uh, head is moving so I can load properly. Like if you go like that, there's no way on earth you're gonna get your back to the target or load your weight and then now you're in a reverse pivot position. So just sit there in a mirror or a window right there. Take a club like this and just think, okay, this is sideways like a seesaw. That's like a helicopter, okay? That's the move I need you to do. So you just keep doing it. Get used to it. Oh, that's what it feels like. Okay, good. Then just do a couple practice swings, thinking of the same move. Oh, helicopter, got it. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do in your golf swing. So maybe you're doing that around the house then try to remember that feeling tee up a ball try to get the same feeling okay it's pretty obvious the difference between that and that yeah it's new and different but just give it a try okay you'll see that that will get you coiling and uncoiling a lot better once you can do that then you can turn your arms off and get that powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. Here's another tip that's gonna help you improve your swing. Now, right below that, don't forget to click on that link because I'm gonna send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that'll take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing.